Completing exercises and graded tasks in the computational assessment. You are now ready to start writing procedures for Carol, first as practice exercises and then as graded tasks. Let's open the first exercise and take a look at the instructions. Notice that you have both a play button which runs the whole procedure and a step button which steps through it one line at a time. You can run or step and reset as many times as you need while you are testing the procedure. The instructions are to collect the pumpkin and enter the home square. The program only requires three lines. Visualize Carol's moves and actions before you write. In order to collect the pumpkin, Carol must first make one step forward, write the go command on the first line and press enter. Now Carol can collect the pumpkin using the command get. Write get and press enter. Finally, Carol needs to move one more step forward using the go command. However, we're going to make a mistake to see what happens. Run the program. You will receive an error message because we wrote two commands on the same line. Correct that third line and run the program again. This time, Carol has collected the pumpkin and entered the home square successfully. Press Submit to grade the exercise. Success! If we had not met the task requirements, we might fail the grader. We can still make corrections to our procedure and submit it again. This exercise is pretty straightforward. In other tasks and exercises, if you can't figure out the procedure from the instructions, press the Hint button and follow the hints. If you are still stuck, you can use the code template to show the logical flow of the procedure. Replace the ellipses, the three dot pattern, with the correct keywords or commands. After you complete and submit a practice exercise, close the exercise window. You will see a green check mark next to the first exercise. Complete all three exercises before proceeding to the graded task. Graded tasks are similar to the exercises, except that you will be graded on your work. If you write and test your procedure carefully and pass it the first time you submit it, you will earn the maximum number of points for that task. There is a deduction for failing the first time you submit a task. If you fail, keep trying until you pass. You won't lose any more points. There is a small deduction for using the hint and a larger deduction for using the template. The tools are there for you to use if you need them, but try passing without them first. Good luck! Read, write, and test carefully, and you should do well on this assessment.